All right, so this will be a solution video. Like always, you can just find the code in the description and download that, but I'll give you a chance to follow along if you want to code along while I create this solution. Okay, so first thing, as always, we need a file. I created one called rusty.html. Create a file, save it, .html. We need our skeleton, our boilerplate. Let's give it a title of rusty steel. And then the first thing that stands out is the largest heading, which should be an H1. And that just is rusty steel. The next thing is some text that I think should probably be a paragraph. So, hi, I'm a dog, woof. So let's see what we have going on so far. Looks good. So next up, we can tackle the image. So I have a few images of Rusty here. They're all pretty adorable. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to copy the image URL. Uh, in case you didn't know about that, right click, copy image URL. You'll be doing that a lot anytime you want to use an image in your HTML. So we need an image tag. We set the source equal to that URL. Remember, there's no closing image tag, just self-closing image source equals something. Let's take a look. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and add in some of my favorite places. So let's go with an H4 to start. And let's see how that looks. Mm, that looks a little bit small. So that might be an H3. And this really isn't the point of the exercise, so you don't have to spend too much time. Okay, there we go, it's an H3. It's really more just identifying that something is a heading, not so much matching exactly the size, because we can use CSS later on to specify, you know, it's not like there's only six sizes of, of headings. There are six different headings, but we can style any of them to be 50 pixel font size, 51, 52, 100, 200, 300, 70, like we can do whatever we want style-wise, but there are just six elements. So again, we're not really working with any style yet. So if we want it to be exact, this is an H3. So next up, we have a nice little list, an unordered list with three LIs, the beach, the dog park, and the fire hydrant. These actually are his favorite places in order. So maybe this should have been an ordered list rather than an unordered list, but that's for another day. Let's double check. Looks good. The only other thing that we need now is our final paragraph at the bottom. Make sure to follow me on and then an A tag. Inside that A tag we want Instagram. And then I have just dogs of Instagram open. Um, feel free to use any link whatsoever. It really doesn't matter. Let's check that out. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, it is purple because I've been to this link before. So links that you've not visited are blue. Links that you have are by default purple. We can change that with CSS later. All right, so let's just compare again. Looks good to me.